So I am turning the rod away from my body um, and at the same time I'm holding down the base of the mandrel contraption and also supporting the rod with this finger here. Um, if I didn't and I'm constantly pulling down it'll eventually bend the rod which you don't want. So if you want it to last longer you kind of support it here. While I'm twisting it and twisting the wire I'm also kind of I'm pulling straight down on the wire and slightly to the right. If I pull too much to the right it does this. To fix that you know I back up to the point where it, the mistake happened and slowly try to correct it as, like this. So accidents do happen. If you pull too much to this way you get a gap like that which depending on the pattern you're going to make you may want a separation like that but it that takes some practice as to how far you want it and such like that but if you want just a straight rod uh, like I said you just pull straight down and then you just keep pulling it winding it and winding it and winding it um, then when you get to the desired length that you want um, you can let go of everything and it kind of snaps back then you release the two side pieces here you lift out and you take a piece um, now these are uh, jewelry cutters uh, but I got it like a jewelry store or a craft store and I just snip it here which breaks off that piece and then I just take it and slide it off my rod and now I can go ahead and cut the desired length um, of spirals that I want and that's how you wind up the spirals.